Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to perform a stability analysis in Fem Design software. We are going to start from Analysis tab here. We are going to select the Calculate function, and from here, we are going to select the Stability Analysis. In here, you can see the buckling shapes and the different load combinations that you have in your model. For me, I only have one load combinations. And here I can set the required buckling shapes to be found in, uh, for example, in here, I can select this to be 10. I can only, uh, also, I can set required uh, shapes as positive and the maximum number of iterations the FEM design will perform in the calculation. Let's start our calculation by pressing OK. Once again, we are going to jump in the back uh, in the end of this calculation. Now the calculation have finished. In here, we can see the solutions of buckling model shapes uh, that the FEM design have found. So in here, I can see that uh, FEM design has found 20 buckling shapes in my model. And uh, we are going to continue by pressing here close. And from analysis, quick tools and results, we can see the results for stability analysis. In here, first we can check the transnational displacements. And in here, you can select the load combination you want to uh, check in your results. Uh, I only have one, so I have this one here. And in here, you will also see the lowest cr critical parameter for that load combination. What you have also here, uh, you have all the shapes that FemDesign has found. And here I can first, I can simply press this to be so positive uh, critical parameters only or show positive uh, sh buckling shapes only. Here I can firstly see that the shape number one has the lowest critical parameter. Uh, I can also see the probability of that shape uh, being global in horizontal displacement, uh, the probability to be global in vertical uh, displacement and also around the vertical axis. You can scroll uh, or re uh, set these values uh, by simply pressing if I want to find the global shape for my structure uh, in the horizontal displacement. I'm just going to click here and here I can see that the first uh, global uh, buckling shape is actually uh, with the critical parameter of 20. And I'm going to display this. And this is the my first uh, global uh, shape. I can also rearrange this to be by vertical and rearrange this to be in a rotational around the vertical axis like this. I can also return them to be uh, as a shape. Yeah, but here was all for the stability analysis. I hope you learned something new about this. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next one.